I might look like the average 26-year-old young millennial, but I'm not exactly that ordinary. I'm the survivor of a heart and kidney transplant. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I had those surgeries at age 11. And at 25, last year, I became the survivor of a rare post-transplant cancer. I received chemotherapy at Johns Hopkins, and the Affordable Care Act literally saved my life. Yeah. It's been thanks to the work of President Obama, Congressman Hoyer, and Senator Van Hollen, and I'm standing here before you today. <laughs> Patriotism is supporting your fellow man and not believing we should repeal this law because of the misconception that the ACA is too expensive or imperfect. Donald Trump and others that support the repeal of the ACA don't understand what it means to have medication that cost $2,000 for 30 days. Mm. My reality is 22 pills a day. Wow. And I'm not on Medicare, I'm not on Medicaid. I have a job, a full-time job, I'm a college graduate, and I also run a small nonprofit that sends disabled youth to college and provides them with money for it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. The Affordable Care Act means people like us with pre-existing conditions can no longer be denied health care. Yeah. It also meant that I could stay on my parents' insurance until I was 26, and I turned 26 two weeks ago on New Year's Eve. <laughs> and these are two provisions that Senator Van Hollen fought hard for. Yeah. 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 So I'll end this by saying that allowing our fellow man to die because of a dollar is not patriotism. It's choosing death over dignity. But we stand here unified today to say yes to affordable health care and no to a repeal without a replacement. Thank you all so much um, for al allowing me to speak my mind and for this opportunity, and thank you all behind me. <laughs> Ola, terrific. Give a big for Ola. Is it Ola proof that the Affordable Care Act, Medicare, and Medicaid save lives and create